Hey, welcome back, beautiful Capricorns, and thank you for joining me here, everyone. Let's get straight to your messages. I am using this Unveiling the Golden Age here, written by Izzy Ivy, and she is the creator of this deck. Let's go, Capricorn. Heart Fire. Three of Activations, the Meadow, Ace of Earth Guardians, Snow, Five of Earth Guardians, and Harmony in Adversity, Five of Light Codes. So you have two fives here. Let's go, Capricorn. Heart, fire, three of activations. Now is the time for inner reflection. Allow yourself to feel the depths of your emotions while staying connected with your higher awareness. This card indicates you may have experienced a loss or some emotional pain, that it is time for you to be present with expressing your sadness is part of the process of releasing it, holding it in, can manifest in as physical ailments. At the same time, it is important not to be wholly immersed in it and have a way of regaining your vibration, like having a helium balloon to help you lift you again. Ideally, this boosts your spirits and moves your energy like dance, yoga, or seeing friends after deep processing when we lift our spirits while simultaneously journeying the depths we remain inspired to do the things that keep us buoyant sometimes it is essential to go deep and the key is to be able to get back up this card reminds us to focus in on the path ahead feelings are short-term in nature and will fade in time remember what you are here for Understand that challenges help us grow and evolve. Learn from your mistakes and do not let them make you hard or cynical. Compose them for growth, greater compassion, and the full spectrum of the human experience. While you may need to examine your stuff, sometimes the root of pain Experiences come from the distortions or projections of another. You do not have to accept those person's ideas of truth around the situation. They might be acting out of their fears, their insecurities, or triggers. They may be able to... There might be some truth in what they are saying, or perhaps a bit of both. The key is to get yourself into higher awareness. From here, you can see the forest for the trees. It prevents you from becoming overwhelmed by your triggers, making the situation more painful than it needs to be. This is the root chakra. The base of the spine or the groin. So you have to be careful not to withhold things in too much. To express these things, these emotions, but to continually move forward. The meadow. The Ace of Earth Guardians. The time is ripe for your visions and goals to prosper. Revel in the abundance of support available and meet it with clear intention and strategy. This card encourages you to consider the next phase of expanding your blossoming your ideas. 
Keep your eyes open for the perfect synchronicities and opportunities as they appear. This card implies that wealth is coming your way through new financial opportunities or a windfall. It may also signify abundance and new opportunities in relationships, inner fulfillment and love. You're on the initial stages of manifesting your goals. So be aware that you are in this energy. Now, what's going on here? What's the snow doing here? Your current challenges may seem overwhelming. Try to see them as healing opportunities. Call on the support. That's a, two cards of you calling on support. Life has presented you with experience that inspire growth, new perspectives, and a sense of profound compassion and humility. This card suggests you have healing opportunities available to you. These healing opportunities may appear as challenges in financial matters and material or work-related endeavors. It may seem that you carry the world on your shoulders or no one understands or is available to help you. This is only your limited perception. Some people are happy to give you a hand. Just be aware if you are closed off to them. When we get caught up in our world, much can go unnoticed. The universe has your back and whatever you are experiencing is short term. Consider what is going well for you and take a deep breath. List all the things that you are grateful for and you will start to see the broader picture. You will begin noticing more positive things, including that you are not alone. There are plenty of allies who want to see you thrive. Be aware of what you're manifesting in your current mindset and consider what could solve the situation or make you feel better about it. One tiny spark will grow into something optimistic as the outer world starts to reflect your inner reality. You could be in a sense of disconnect and it is more spiritual than physical. Perhaps it is time to nurture your soul. You may feel the weight of the winter months, but you know the snow will soon melt away. And in the meantime, you are present with the beauty of the silent, still shimmering land. The cycles of the seasons dances with the sun's radiance and life affirming effects on the earth. For now, the days are short, the nights are long, but the stars shine so brightly Sometimes the aurora borealis blesses the night skies exquisitively and you are awed into sweet reverence and trust. There is the luminescent shimmer of divine perfection even in the darker moments. So it's counting your blessings and speaking of the things that you are most grateful for. Even the smallest, minutest things can affect your overall energy as well as your health. Harmony in adversity. Support again. Everybody to speak their needs and be heard. Be Windful, mindful, not to project assumptions onto others. 
cultivate coherence through awareness. This card acknowledges the pressure or the presence of conflict, whether it's inner or outer. There may be tension present, and its push-pull energy seeks change and metamorphosis. You might be facing difficulty in moving forward due to an inability of you or those around you to work toward a shared goal. There may be differing opinions and passions, each with its own de desired direction to follow. Create a space where all participants can be heard. As right now, no one is listening. Sometimes we project what we think somebody else is thinking or saying when it may be quite the opposite and our impression stems from our insecurities. The irony is that we may all have a similar end goal to one another. Take a moment to listen and see each person in your group. They might have a valid point, but what's more, if they feel they are being witnessed, they can drop more deeply into their vulnerability and let go of their spiky, protective exteriors. Being heard allows us to see where our feelings are coming from. So someone feels like they're not being heard, but are we speaking up? Or nobody is listening? It's like no one is listening. And it's going to persist this way until the people you're having conflict with feel heard. They want to be heard. Or vice versa. Because right now nobody's listening. And there could be a lot of who shot John along the way, like someone jumping to conclusions what the other person is thinking when they may not be thinking that at all. Right now there's stillness. So someone's going to have to be patient because somebody is being consumed here. This is to do with family and intentions. And something is being held secretive. Someone is, um, or this could be a presumption that someone is being secretive. It's jumping to conclusions, thinking you know or they know what the other person is thinking, but no one is listening. So it's inaccurate. It's, it's a misunderstanding. No one's listening. I mean, there's love here. And it's time to collaborate and grow from it. But you got to put in the work. Because right now, something is a mystery. It's like jumping to conclusions. Well, I'm going to keep quiet. Um, you might think someone's keeping a secret or keeping something within, but the thing is, they're saying, I just want to be heard. So there's something that needs to be healed because everyone's on their defensive. And there is an opportunity to rebirth something. But someone is determined that someone is disguising something. And they're truly not. They just want to be heard. 
everything in balance and patient. Be patient. It's like it would be, be, be wise to to adapt. Okay, it would be wise to adapt and reveal that you care and trust somebody and believe. And all this comes from communication and the strength. Be kind. Come with the energy of peace. Come with the energy of joy. Why does someone assume that somebody is like, it's assumptions here I'm picking up on. So there's some, it could be a family situation uh, that someone is jumping to conclusions about. But the, the, the truth of the matter is nobody's listening. It's like they're speaking, but they're not being heard. So what can they do about it? I mean, if they've stated their case, they want to be heard, period. That's what it is. So this could be something needs to be rebirthed. And maybe someone is acting too dominant over someone. I don't know. Conclusions. Jumping to conclusions. And somebody is um, carrying the this weight around their shoulders. And all they have to do... Yeah, it's like there's no communication. And that's what they got to do. But it takes two to tango here. Everybody's speaking, but nobody's listening. So somebody... This could be about support. This could be about um, learning. This could be counseling. I don't know, somebody wanting to go to counseling or going to counseling, but if you're not revealing, even in counseling, if you're not revealing the whole truth, how can they counsel you? So there's something very hurtful here. And there is an opportunity here. But it's got to be fair. It's got to be fair. It's things to do with home and family. Something could be healed. What the hell is this? See, this is negative thoughts, negative emotions. This is someone who is, this is sabotaging. This is negative thoughts that are causing a lot of stress, anxiety. But the love is there, so somebody is got their defense up Someone is judging someone, and it's not that at all. Someone is misjudging someone. Like they have made an opinion or they have made a judgment about this is family or a love situation. 
but somebody is jumping to conclusions here. They think they know what the other person is thinking or doing before they even say it. And the thing is, what's a, someone's getting to the point, well, what's the sense of speaking if nobody's listening? Okay. So there is that victim mentality. It could be between siblings or something. I don't know. And it's like patience is here. There is an, like an opportunity, but someone feels like they're not being heard. It's like someone is like made one, two, three attempts or something like that, but they don't feel heard. Or they feel ignored. Is there being secretive or somebody thinks someone's being secretive and there's some conflict here. I don't know. I mean, the love is here. Why is someone... Yeah, it's like someone every time, every time they make some kind of suggestion or they make some kind of um, offer. Now, these are all messages. So this person has tried. They've tried to communicate. They've tried to speak their mind, even though it may not be liked. I mean, the bottom line here is someone does not feel heard. And this is a family situation. And the truth is someone is working really hard here. Someone has worked really hard to be a provider, to provide, to, I don't know some kind of change in communication. So someone is just wishing Oh, jeez. It's about respect. This again is thoughts. So somebody may have gone through something very painful. And I don't know what this argument is about. I 
I don't know what this argument is about. But I just know that there are people around who are willing to offer support. I mean, someone is thinking, well, I have no one to support me and I have no one who will have my back. And I've got, when there are people who are more than willing to lend a hand, that whatever these troubles are, they're all fixable. These are fixable things, things that you can tangibly do to fix this situation. But the, it starts with communication. Somebody is like, someone is getting to the point where they don't want to communicate because everything they say, they're not being heard. Every attempt that they've made, they've been shut down. Um, it's like, this is a family situation. So it's, where do we go from here? It's saying that this is a solvable, fixable problem, but someone is in like playing some sort of role of victimhood and it's like it didn't start out that way but it's ending up that way it's like this person or these people whoever this situation is it is about communication and people jumping to conclusions of what the other person is thinking. And it is not the case. They, nobody is listening. Someone is speaking and nobody is listening. They are said, they've said it. And that's all they got to say. They're not going to keep going over it and over it and over it and over it. If you didn't hear the first, second, third time, they're not going to keep repeating themselves. It's like everybody's talking, but nobody is listening. And it's leading to gossip. People are gossiping and they are talking behind the back. So it's evolving into a different animal than what it should have been. People should have just got together, expressed how they were feeling. The other person, be quiet, stop interrupting, don't twist their words. Don't twist it around to make it look like it's their fault or twist it around to make it look like it's this person's fault or that person's fault. It comes, we're all responsible for the way we handle ourselves and the things that come from our mouths. And until people are willing to take accountability for their own roles and their own actions, and the things that they have thought and the things that they have said and someone is like way off base here in in their thinking and there is support around like someone thinks um Somebody better count their blessings because if they are like in the attitude of if they're in this attitude, well, they are going to manifest that. 
No one's listening, though. But this person has tried to express themselves. This person has tried to say and express themselves. But they don't want to believe it. It's like they don't believe it. They want the worst case scenario. No, no, no. But nobody, everybody's talking, but nobody's listening. And it almost should be conducted under... You just stop giving your opinion. Let the other person speak and get what's on their chest. Get it out. Because nobody's doing that. Oh, they mean this. Oh, they mean that. Oh, this means this. They're reading more into the situation it's like there's too much criticism too much judgment too much uh, there are no victims there are survivors but someone is like Nah, the, you know what, the whole truth, unless people are willing to be honest and to be straightforward, there is no point. It'll just continue on and continue on and continue on unless somebody is willing to just shut up and listen. Actually hear what the other person is saying. If you want peace, that's what's going to have to happen. And make it short and sweet because direct. Because somebody can just, has a tendency to just, they could talk like, but they're not being hurt. Someone's being too defensive and they're like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. That's not the way it is. That's not the way it is. I'm sorry you feel that way, but no, no, it's not. I'm sorry how you feel. It's like I hear you. And I'm sorry if I made you feel that way. Not the other way around. There's a difference. Somebody is going, I heard you. I hear you. And I'm sorry you feel that way. You are not validating that person's feelings by saying that. If you were to just change the wording and say, I hear you. And I'm really sorry if I'm making you feel that way because here's how I really feel is a huge difference from I'm I'm sorry you feel that way like it's their fault that they feel that way people's feelings are real and genuine And validate them like instead of saying I'm sorry you feel that way which makes it look like you have no accountability for what you did or said to turn it around so that it sounds like you've heard that person you acknowledge whatever they're dealing with or thinking or feeling and accept it. That's how they think or that's how they feel. Not, I'm sorry you feel that way. 
somebody's going, I'm sorry you feel that way. Which D valuizes what that person just said. Instead of saying, like I said, just like, say something like, I hear you. And I'm sorry if I made you feel that way. Because here's what I really think. That word but comes in there. No, eliminate the word but. I'm sorry you feel that way, but I feel the la 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 la. Leave the word but out of it. I am sorry you feel that. I'm sorry if I made you feel that way. Because here are my real intentions. You know what I mean? Something like that is going on. No one's hearing. Everybody's talking, but there is nobody listening. And each person should be brought together and give their chance to voice how they feel and how they think. There is support available. Somebody is going, I got no support. I got no support. Yes, there is lots of support around. They want to feel like they have no support, but they have support. Take care.